We just finished reading Charlotte's Web by E. B. White. E. B. White. This story is about a pig named Wilbur. And Wilbur was born as a very small pig. He was the runt of the family. Runt means that his brothers and sisters were way bigger than he was. He was the smallest one. Fern's dad is a farmer and she found out that her dad was going to kill Wilbur because he was so small. When Fern found this out, she was so sad. She told her dad that she would take care of Wilbur and he wouldn't have to hurt him. That made Fern happy. She loved Wilbur. Her favorite thing to do was to push him around in a baby carriage, which Wilbur liked very much too. When Wilbur got bigger, he went to live at the barn at the Zuckermans. The Zuckermans had lots of animals, but Wilbur was lonely until the day he met Charlotte. Charlotte was a big gray spider. She had eight legs. Most spiders do. They became best friends. Then Wilbur found out that he was going to be eaten for Thanksgiving dinner. This made him really, really sad. But Charlotte was so clever. She came up with a great plan. She said, don't worry, Wilbur. They will not eat you for dinner. I have an idea. And in her web, she was very clever. She wrote words about Wilbur, like humble. And terrific. This made Wilbur feel much better, although he still was a little bit worried. Then it was fair day. The kids loved the fair. They all got to go on the merry-go-round. Wilbur did not win first prize, but he was so amazing and everyone loved him that he did win a surprise. He did win a prize for being the most marvelous pig, which made Wilbur very happy. But then Wilbur found out something that made him really sad. He discovered that Charlotte was ill and she would not be going back with him to the barn. She had just laid a beautiful sack of eggs and she was so tired. Although this made Wilbur want to cry and he did, he thought about his friend and how much he loved her and he decided to bring the egg sack back to the barn with him. When spring came the egg sack hatched open. And to Wilbur's surprise, lots and lots and lots of baby spiders came out. They were so small, Wilbur couldn't even see them. Wilbur was so happy to have so many friends. He thought that Charlotte would be really happy too. But then, after a while, one by one, the baby started to go away. They flew away on the air. This made Wilbur so distraught. He was so 
sad all over again. He didn't understand why they were leaving him. He began to cry. But then, to his surprise, he looked and realized that although most of the spiders were gone, there were three little ones left. Wilbur asked them their names and why they didn't fly away. And they said it's because they love their home with him and they would stay with him until it was their turn to have babies and fly away too. The end.